Okay, so um, my speech is entitled Proper Body Mechanics. Um, it, I did go the route of being very simple today. I didn't even plan that well for this speech, but in light of the, 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 the title for my speech, number five, kind of gave me the idea of, oh, okay, I can speak about body mechanics, you know, that's what I do. So, um, in, in the medical field, um, mostly, there are like four basic uh, body mechanic uh, topics that we, we talk about, and there's lots of video about it, but um, not so much today, but it used to be on the job training as well because it was so important for us um, to use your body in a safe manner. So um, the four that I'll speak about today are the way we lift, the way we um, pivot, uh, the way we reach, and um, there's reaching, lifting, and Pivoting, well, stooping, but that's going to come in in my conversation with explaining uh, a lot of them. The rest of them probably most though. So I'll start with lifting. Um, when you lift, the proper way to lift is whether it's in front of you, at the on the floor, at the top. You have to use proper your whole body so that you don't risk um, straining your muscles or your joints and being unsafe about it. So when there's the object in front of you, you want to not reach out to get it, but go as close to it as possible so that you use your whole body to grab the object, lift the object, and then keep it close to you so that, once again, you're, you're carrying it safely and you're not straining any of your muscles. Um, overhead lifting, you don't, once again, want to reach higher than, you know, your body. I mean, you don't want to get too far away from um, your core body so that you don't strain muscles. So you want to use um, things like the stepping stool or a ladder to reach up and then grab the object and then once again bring it close to you so you're being safe um, with carrying the object. When you're grabbing something from the floor, you want to use your leg muscles because they have more strength than what your back does. A lot of people like to stoop over and grab something because they want to do it quick and easy, but then they risk, they risk pulling something in their back. And back injuries, sometimes they don't go away. Once you injure your back, you can have that problem for the rest of your life. So you want to make sure your feet are planted, first of all, and that the weight is evenly distributed to both legs. And so you want to squat with picking up the object so that you use your leg muscles and just not your back. Um, the same as with transferring a patient, you want to also use the same um, weight in your legs and, and not your back. When you're pivoting um, the resident from like the chair or from the bed to the chair or vice versa, you want to make sure you use your whole body, your whole core. and we also use something that's called like a gate belt when we are transferring our residents. And you use that for more support for yourself and for the resident so that they're not injured and neither are you. So when you go to transfer the person, you wanna make sure once again that your feet are planted properly and that your weight is evenly distributed. And you wanna get as close to them as possible because they wanna feel safe. You don't wanna try to grab them from way out here. Um, and then sometimes they're frightened and scare them even further. And you definitely don't want to be bamboozled by them <laughs> um, grabbing you the wrong way because that can injure you as well. So you want to also make sure you're um, communicating because they want to hold on to something to feel safe, but the best place to hold is your arms or your body. So tell them to hold there um, and it's okay. So you want to use your legs once again in squat and not so far that time you know just a little bit so that you know that your legs are acting in the process so um, and placement is is key depending on how much room you have and where you're you're turning 
you want to make sure your foot placement is in proper order. So grabbing them and putting them into the chair, you want to be able to turn and pivot instead of just turning and straining your back. So you want to, you know, squat a little bit, you got them in the hold, and then you're turning, pivoting them into the chair. So you don't cause strain or injury to your joints or muscles. Um, let's see, we talked about stooping and lifting and pivoting, um, reaching. We kind of talked about that in lifting. Uh, when you reach for something, once again, you have to reach for it up close so you're using your whole body and your whole core. So it's very important in the workplace and even in your home to use proper body mechanics so that you don't injure yourself, your muscles or your joints and cause injury to yourself for the rest of your life. And you want to keep um, in the medical field your patients safe. You want them to feel safe and secure with using these safety techniques as well. So thank you. Thank you, Shannon.